So here we go into game number two, coming off of a very high scoring and intense game number one against the Ottawa Senators. Let's hope things are not nearly as crazy as they were in game one. We can't afford to give up too many goals in this series. So it looks like keeping Ottawa off the scoreboard is going to be a challenge in and of itself. The Sens are looking to take at least one game on the road before things shift up to Canada, Ontario. And you're never in trouble until you lose a game on home ice. So let's try not to do that. Oh boy, game number two against the Senators. We need to try to take this one. It is home ice. We need to successfully defend home ice. And we found out the hard way in game number one just how lethal that this Senators offense can be. We also had a couple of tough bounces. We get a great bounce. What a start to the game for Jonathan Drouin. We get to Soros. We get to him early. How about that for a hot start? That took absolutely no time whatsoever. Jonathan Drouin is ready to play game two of this series against the Senators. It's the Eastern Conference Final. I'm not nervous. There's no, no, no reason to be nervous. For games like this this is this is only the, one of the bigger stages of the whole world the hockey world now you want to talk about being nervous i'll be nervous when we, when we make the stanley cup final Cairo. we have a nice easy save from the outside and i mean if we can just keep these guys to shooting it off the rush keep the play toward the outside of the rink the saves become much easier to make my job becomes much simpler we want to try to keep things as simple as possible as we rim it up the glass right to Druin. Oh, now, oh my god! <laughs> uh, Tony D'Angelo, are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need help? Oh my god. Somebody call NASA. We've got a new space program here. Brady Kachuk launches Tony D'Angelo into the air. Boy, was he elevated in a big way. This might be the thumbnail for this freaking video. Look at this hit. I mean, a wry smile on the face of Brady Kachuk. He knows he got all of D'Angelo with that one. What a hit, my friend. Oh, well, this series just got extremely physical. Off to a quick start in game two from the man that just had the puck, Brady Kachuk. I hope you have your head on a swivel tonight because, oh, what a tough save through traffic. I got to have my head on a swivel as well. And here is Thomas Jabot. Wise decision. Look at all the screen we have to look through. Through the legs of Ethan Bear in front. My teammate comes across and, oh, my. Do we get this with the top of the pad roll or what? I think, uh, I think we just get a piece of this as we're standing perfectly on angle in the lane well maybe not perfectly but just enough to get a piece of it hey, they don't ask you how you make the saves they just care that you make them that's the only thing that counts and on the stat sheet a save is a save i'll take it either way the always dangerous stutzla over to kairu that'll be oh a weird floater i was expecting a fastball gotta change up instead center zone now bear a drag move dropped off the Larkin, and that was blocked on the way through. Coach Kaniemi works with Meyer. The backdoor feed available, but taken away by the Ottawa Senators who now bring the rush the other way. Look at the speed, and we'll make a save. It's laying there. It's still available. They play very quick. They're aggressive with their forecheck. They got a lot of speed. That'll be an offside. It was a delayed offside, not any longer. Saved by Soros. I tell you what, man. We came into this series, and I... I must have underrated the Ottawa Senators for what they could accomplish on offense. I wasn't, I, I'm not surprised that they're that they're a good team because they're here for a reason, right? They're in the conference final for a reason. And they have depth throughout their lineup. I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting the offensive explosiveness that they've had so far in this series. And it's continued here in the game too. As Shushkin shoots and that's off of Soros. Now the Senators in a struggle to just try to get the puck out of their own zone. On the wing to Norris. Over to the other wing, Formanton. Sue! Don't turn your body inward like that when you're making a save. Face off one, but now possessed by the Senators. So the Canes win the face off, but the Senators get possession eventually. That's gonna be kept in. Oh, rebound! We get to Kairu on the rebound. Man, what a big keep in by the Sens here. This allows them to get this initial shot from Stutzla on the net. And we're forced to make a save. Off the pad directly to Kairu in front. We also get his chance by just sliding over in time and getting help from this defenseman. We're playing it really dangerous with the way this Sens... Look at the speed. I'm telling you, Kairu from an odd angle. And we make another glove save. 
Jordan Cairo, at least he's shot the puck tonight, so he's not holding back. This Senators team, their their speed on the rush is just all in all inspiring. We need to go back to our neutral zone. We need to play tight on the blue line, neutral zone trap. Stack up on the blue line, put as many bodies there because I mean these guys are eating us alive with their transition play. Here's here's more speed off the rush by Kairu. This time he's gonna be rubbed down along the boards. That allows us to play the puck behind my net. I'm just trying to go to a vacant area. Ooh. I put Svetch in a tough spot. It's led to a turnover. Twoman in. Ooh, splaying out. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I swear, why do we have to always do that seated animation? Get it out of the game, EA Sports. I swear, if this animation is in NHL 24, I'm going to lose my brain. Some would argue that I've already lost my brain, or maybe I never had it in the first place. Drake Batherson. That, oh, that's unfortunate. I almost used 100% of my brain on that save. Man, I tried to do something desperate. Once he got in behind the defense, I tried the old flying poke check here on Drake Bathers, and it almost worked until it didn't. You're going to see we're going to get a piece of it, but oh, with the glove, we get a piece of it, but it's just not enough as it floats <laughs> into the net. We're flailing around Graves. I mean, Graves could at least be helpful instead of watching this thing go into the back of the net. We have the net cam view of it here. Oh man, so close. Sometimes you try desperate things and you, it doesn't pay off, but desperate times sometimes call for desperate measures. The way that the Senators have utilized their speed through the neutralized and hitting the blue line with that speed it's caused a ruckus for our defense so far in this in this series not just this game but it is proving problematic for our defense in this game we just rung the post and out the other side larkin down low to meyer we're trying to grind a shift in the offensive zone that's not helpful and the Sens will pull it back at center ice looking for speed off the rush again nylander it goes to batherson chabot Batherson shooting blocked by D'Angelo. That's a helpful block. I was out of position. I'm frantically playing in my crease at the moment. Offensive possession would be great. What a move by Larkin. And Kotkaniemi shooting right into the pad of Soros. So we're in the last minute of play in the first period. I just want to get out of this one. Formington drops it off. And Ashushkin had picked off the pass. Well read. Coming in on the back check as the final 20 winds down. Granlin from the half wall, feeds it down low. Nashushkin rebound to Jarvis. We're gonna score with 7.6 seconds left. Well, you wanna talk about getting out of the period. The Sens fail to get out of the period and it's much to our benefit as we take a two to one advantage before the first period can end. Seth Jarvis, that's huge. And I believe that is his second goal of this postseason right there. It's put us on top. We've got Big Mo on our side. One more stop. Nope, Norris couldn't get the shot away. And that's it for 20 minutes. It's been a very lively and active game so far. It's been a very lively and active series through the first game and a quarter of a game so far in this series. We've got a long way to go in game number two before this is all said and done. Pressure is going to be on me to stave off the Sens attack. We know how creative this team is now. We've seen it firsthand. And we saw it firsthand as well back in the regular season when we played that god-awful game in this building against the Senators. And we'll play it behind the net. Rimmed around the glass to Drew. And that was a very sketchy play, but look at how beautifully that's worked out for Martin Natchez. The feed to Svetch. Oh, Natchez, you got to put that in. He had an open net on the rebound, and he couldn't make it go. Now Stutzler. Windmill. It goes gonna, it's gonna go right to us. We play it outside the trapezoid. That's a bit of a stupid mistake on my part. Now, to be fair, I did think that that was gonna end up inside the trapezoid area. And my guy just couldn't help himself. He had to reach out there before it was ready. Oh, save rebound on Bitchek. Bitchek. I'm not sure the correct pronunciation. So we can see, obviously, the Senators are really good at five on five. This is just a, a next level for them. To get on the power play, Kachuk forced it off a body. And again, I can't seem to help myself. I gotta stay in the net. We just gotta stay in the net. We can't force ourselves to play the puck if it's not available. I just need to calm down and get my feet settled underneath me. This is gonna be a very testing power play. Nelson feeds it in front. Kachuk. Oh, I was trying to be patient and just outweigh what Brady was gonna do. We got help from our penalty killers. And one more time for Kachuk. 40 seconds remaining on the kill. Kachuk pulling up on the forehand. That's a pretty routine glove stop. And there's so much pressure to stop this power play. Kachuk flung wide. The Sens are going to be able to pressure it along the boards. They've kept it in for now. 
Forced further down the half wall. Look at Morrissey. Kicked up the boards by Moz. It's going to be touched by the Sense to go on a penalty kill. So this is going to negate the power play they have. Josh Norris for holding. That's a big bailout for us for the Sense to take that penalty. It's going to put things temporarily at four on four. And then, of course, we will get an abbreviated power play out of this. It's just seven seconds of four on four play. But it's a critical seven seconds that I don't have to kill off the penalty any longer. We got the possession in the attacking zone as well off the face off. And look at this, shorthanded, they would do this. The big balls on Bathurst and they go for it shorthanded. We made the save anyway. Dropped off to Sveshnikov. We might have an odd man rush. We have an open Seth Jarvis on the back door, but Saros made quick work of that attempt. Have to like what the power play has done in the early going on this shortened power play. Of course, we're going to play this. And I'm just looking for a teammate that's wide open. It's Dylan Larkin in the neutral zone. No speed for him, though. Natchez to Larkin. Rebound, Larkin, and he can't even get the second try. Boy, is Saros on his game right now. Face off one, back to Morrissey. It's loose. Rebound is forced through the crease by Dylan Larkin. So how about Dylan Larkin? He's been all over it on top of the goal crease in this game. And even that's not going as Natchez just runs it right into UC Saros. And Natchez keeps it in. We didn't see the goal. But a clearing attempt failed on the Senators' end. And Natchez, with his ability to keep it in on the forecheck, has scored a goal. We should get a decent replay out of this. Yeah, here we go. It was Larkin's stick lift, actually, that led to the Natchez shot. I don't know if Saros saw it at all. And that is exactly what is necessary. A power play goal for Martin Natchez. And that's going to allow us to continue to grab even more moment and more rebounds. Oh, boy, we are going for it. We're just putting one puck after another on Saros. He has been tall to the task so far. He's keeping the sense really in this game, believe it or not. This feels like a must-win game for us in a series that could very easily go to six or seven. This feels like a game we got to try to win. We've got all the momentum on our side at the moment. Sveshikov, forehand, glove save. Saros doing work right now. Despite the fact we've got three goals right now on this guy, the saves that he's made, the second and third chance opportunities he has shut down, it's got to be a little bit deflating to a team to not have scored and capitalized on the opportunities that we've had in this game. But, uh, oh, oh, my God, that was dangerous. That was near the trapezoid. There was a four checker in my face. But uh, if it's going to roll into me like that freely, I'm going to try to play it, get it out of harm's way. That's the main objective. And we're going to hold this one off. Meyer skates it back on the deep blue line. Up to Larkin. Great pass. Good vision to find that play. Now Meyer works with Larkin. Good exchange between these two. Larkin shoots and another blocker save. Download to Batherson. Chabot blocked away. And now Nishushkin can skate away with it. He has help from Jarvis. So good support to find the breakout. Jarvis turned over right to Batherson. He's going to go hunt down his own turnover or not. And there we go. We need to smush these guys out on that blue line. That's a textbook play in the neutral zone. If we allow the Senators to get speed off the rush, they're going to eat us up all day. Oh, we're taking a penalty somewhere in there. Delayed penalty against the Hurricanes. This is not good. Going to put the Sins right back on a power play. They're going to want to grab momentum, save, and a rebound. But the touch-up comes from Lindell. The penalty is going to go against Timo Meyer for elbowing. And the elbowing penalty, it came on what I thought was a pretty good forechecking sequence with a... A one-man forecheck, two-man forecheck as Meyer joins the forecheck. And I thought we were going to create a turnover off that. Instead, we end up going to a shorthanded chance. We don't want to be taking too many of these penalties against Ottawa. We're just going to be living in the, in the danger zone. Should we do this the whole series, the whole game? Sens will keep it in. Bit check. Back to the point. Nelson. Pressured a bit. Download to Cairo. It's right in front. Point blank. Cover that up with a glove and we'll play it off. Hopefully we can get a clear by Maz. Kairou will cut to the middle, loses it. Oh, D'Angelo's taking his second big hit of the game. Poor guy. Get some ice packs and some bandages for Tony D'Angelo. He's going to need them, all of them. To Nelson on the drop pass. Save off Nelson through a little bit of traffic in front. Batherson is battling to get through the rebound. Bitchek, save. We're sitting down again. We're going to get help from Morrissey. Great job, Moz. I appreciate it. Yeah. Just a great penalty killing sequence. Nelson. With Batherson standing in front of me, we make the save. We leave a bit of a tough rebound in front. And then look who's going to get to it first. Batherson again. He's going to battle this one out. Dropped it off. And it's Bitchek again in the slot area. Oh, 
we turn and we get a blocker stop. We turn our bo- our our goalie does this weird turning animation and he gives up a bit of net, but we still make the blocker save. We splay out doing a full split. The groin isn't going to be feeling very happy in the morning after that one. This is all a potential thumbnail for this sequence. We're not done on the penalty kill. Kairu, oh yeah. Just doing big work right now on this penalty kill. I'm feeling it. So he killed the penalty off. Back to five on five, which is where I think the Senators excel in this series. They've excelled at five on five compared to ourselves. They have a tremendous offensive attack. Very underrated team. We shouldn't underrate a team, of course, that has gone here to the conference final. This is the playoffs. You can't afford to take any team non-seriously. We're t- we got you got to take me seriously. I'm a beast right now. I am a freaking beast, all jacked up on Mountain Dew right now. Same deal as the end of the first period. Just get out of the period. Just get out of the period. You're a check. Kachuk, it's going to fling wide of us. I can't do anything about that. Oh, what a pass. What a great breakout from the Ottawa Senators on that. Thank you. So the Senators will have to go 200 feet just to dump it back in. We're going to play this. I'm going to try to get out of the period carefully. No one's up there. Drew and make sure it gets out behind the blue line. So this should be the end of the period. One more shot from Nelson. Nature's great back checking effort and that is it that should be the horn for the end of period two just 20 minutes left to go this is a long way from being done we know what this team that we're playing can do we know what their their top two lines can do their top two lines are pretty darn nasty and we got to hold our own for this last 20 minutes of gameplay and here we go it's the brady kachuk line look at a power move on the forehand missed the net though which side? And he's going to get it short. I'm telling you, you got to respect Brady Kachuk in this game. That's an unfortunate way to start the period. But you know what? That reminds me of a goal that we gave up to Brady Kachuk in Ottawa. I don't know if it was in this season here in season four. Hold on one second. We make a save through the screen. That was a blocker save. But it reminds me, we played a game up in Ottawa. And I, I want to say it was in season three, but I, I could be totally wrong on that. And Brady Kachuk... He baited me behind the net and then scored on the other side. It was a nasty move by the AI player. And uh, I, I wish I could tell you which season it was, but I have no idea. I don't know the episode. I don't know the season. He will do that to you. He will do that to you in this video game universe. I mean, he'd probably do that in real life as well. He's that good. And we've got the Sens attack. Drive in the corner, centering feed. Larkin was aware of that play. They check. Pretty dangerous on his own right. Down low to Cairo. Great passing by the Senators. We've rejected Cairo's bid. And the Sens will just get it right back in. Look at that play. We get it out of, over the neutral zone. Cairo, we leave a rebound there. Big preach on Svechnikov getting that out. We, I can't believe it. We got it out into the neutral zone. And the Sens just created a turnover right outside the blue line. And just force it right back into the offensive zone on that last shift. It's going to roll all the way down here. We're going to come out, but I'm going to leave it. There's no point in playing this. I couldn't play that anyway without a penalty. And I've already taken a delay of game penalty for <laughs> touching the puck outside the trapezoid in this game. I would go and make that mistake in a critical playoff game, in a conference final game, no less. And yeah, they were just showing Tony D'Angelo. It's probably not going to be in the video. But that guy, he may need an EMT after this game. <laughs> this guy is... He takes one more hit, and he's going to be leaving this game in an ambulance. Oh, what a play. What a feed in front to Svechnikov. An awkward bounce for the Hurricanes, but I'll take it. Can you believe that is this guy's 12th of the playoffs? 12. Oh, Soros, that's a leaky one. You can't afford to give that up in this game. Hey, that's insurance, baby, and I'll take it. All day and all night. I don't, I don't care how they go in as long as they go in legally over the goal line. We learned in game one this Senators team can rattle off some goals. So, like I said, all Formington from at a distance. We're never out of a game. This sense team is never out of a game. A game is never over until it's officially over, especially against this team. I swear to you, if you guys have another collapse like we had in game one, I'm going to come after every single one of you. And I will leave toilet paper in your trees, in your homes, in front of your houses. Look at the four check. The, the four check is just tremendous. They got this two man four check just grinding. Here in the cool, look at this tenacious little bundles of energy. And it's Shushkin. 
We avoided the four check. We've gotten it out for the time being. Granlin still looking for that first postseason goal. Oh, you're darn right. I've outplayed UC Soros in this game. I kind of give Soros the nod in this game. He's been a tremendous, he's had a tremendous workload and he's answered the call every time he's been called upon. Can't really fault him for some of the goals that have gone past him, except for the fourth one. That was a pretty bad one. Boy, how many times have we seen Cairo bring it up? Dropped it to Stutzla. And we're going to give up a leaky one of our own. Well, Soros' goal was bad. My goal that I just gave to Brady Kachuk equally is bad. And guess what? The Sens are right back in this game. That's why the insurance is so important. And Brady Kachuk, that guy's going to be living in my head for a long time. I'm going to be going to bed tonight. And it's just going to be Brady Kachuk's face in my nightmares. It's going to be Brady Kachuk staring me down. And then the red goal light behind the net is going to be going off. Now, I would prefer to have not given up the third goal. And I'm a little nervous. Oh, we needed to stop Stutzler. Wow. That got dangerous very quickly. Listen, I don't know what the line score is going to look like at the end of this game. I don't even know what the save percentage is going to be at the end of this game. And we... Oh, forced... Again, Senators force it wide. It's in the corner. And they're just battling. Their forecheck just doesn't give up. Oh, we draw a penalty in the process. I'm going off. Ref hand is up. And I never even got halfway to the bench. Boy, did we need this. Didn't want to give up the third goal that I gave up in the game. I could have easily prevented that. But again, we could use a power play goal. The insurance is very, would be very lovely. And of course, these guys are a little desperate. So they're going to force it. Never got a shot. I don't even know what kind of an attempt that was from Josh Norris. You got to give the Sens credit. I mean, they don't give up. They're shorthanded late in the game. They're going to press on. They know they need the offense. I mean, I'm telling you, Soros, he's put the Senators team on his back. He's the reason they're even in this game right now. He continues to work wonders in the net. I mean, the power play should, if anything, it should guarantee that I get a little bit of a rest from the Ottawa attack, which I could desperately use. And the other part of it is we need a, we need a goal here. Uh-oh. See, this is the harm in this. Batherson powering is way safe. But we got to spit this out. We got to keep play going. We're on a power play. We got to make sure we can get offensive zone attacking possession here. This is it. And HS is in behind. Soros continues to make miraculous stops. This is why the Sens are in this game. You see Soros right now. This is why they have a shot at this. You guys keep messing around with this power play and don't get anything on it. Oh, that's a leaky one. Another one that Natchez is going to score. In my opinion, this should be Spechnikov's goal. He powered it through Soros' pad, and then Natchez just tapped it in to make sure it went over the goal line. I'm not satisfied until that final horn sounds. I don't care what the score is. I don't care how many goals we have. I'm not going to be satisfied until the green light goes off and the horn sounds, and there's no time on the clock whatsoever. Spechnikov batted out of the air the saucer pass by Yurichek. Even with a two-goal lead, I'm so tense right now. This is... I'm extremely timid. Look at this. 44 shots to 28 in favor of Carolina. We have just poured one rubber disc on after another at UC Soros. We know with Ottawa that we're never officially out of a game until we're out of a game. And I, again, I don't want to give up another goal. That's the last thing I want to do. And I'm fine with where we're at. I don't think we're going to get a 900 save percentage out of this. But my goal is to stop every shot I see for the last 34 seconds or so here in the empty net, of course, for Ottawa. If I get a chance, I'm going for that empty net. Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. A playoff empty netter. Oh, I got forced and I threw it all the way down in the corner. It was worth the off. Uh, it was worth the effort. Worth the offer? Well, I did it. I offered a bit at that empty net goal. And if I just shot it a little straighter, I would have had it. But I mean, I had to go for it. I, The icing... The risk of the icing is worth it. We made the save. And it looks like victory is definitely going to be ours. We're going to go get an empty net. I don't know. It's flung wide, but I don't care. We've taken game two. We've defended a whole mice. Oh, wait. Timo Meyer scored with 0.7 left. I thought that was the final horn. Well, it might as well be the final horn. We'll leave the camera down here to celebrate a game two victory on home ice. And now the series will, of course, shift north to Ottawa as they will try to defend their home ice and keep themselves in this series. But winning the first two games gives us a great chance to make our way to the Stanley Cup Final. We're two wins away, baby. And we, of course, we got a storm surge for the fans before we leave to play the road games in this series. Far from perfect. I definitely, I had two rough leaky goals against Brady Kachuk in that third period. But you know what? I don't really care. We're almost a 900 save percentage, a positive in the line score, almost A's across the board. 
that's that's a pretty good game. We've got momentum on our side. We defended home ice, like I mentioned. We got a 2-0 lead. We're two wins away from the Stanley Cup final. I am leading this team all the way in the goal crease. This is exactly what I envisioned. This is what I want out of this series. I want an opportunity to compete for Lord Stanley. And as long as the numbers are decent, yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied with game two. It was much better than game one.